So on April 29th, Cornelius Frederick was a resident at Lakeside Academy here in Kalamazoo. As a result of actions that took place there um, by staff, he received severe injury, which caused his subsequent death on May 1st. Uh, my office has reviewed the entirety of the investigation by the Kalamazoo Department of Public Safety as well as state agencies in order to make a determination as to charges in this case. We've authorized charges in this case against three separate individuals. These are the persons that we feel are most closely responsible uh, for Cornelius' death. First, uh, we've authorized charges against Michael Joshua Mosley of Battle Creek, Michigan. Mr. Mosley has been charged with homicide, manslaughter, involuntary. It's alleged that he did cause the death of Cornelius Frederick by committing the following act or acts in a grossly negligent manner. Restraint of Lakeside resident Cornelius Frederick, contrary to statute. That offense, manslaughter, is a felony punishable by a maximum of up to 15 years in prison. Mr. Mosley has also been charged with second degree child abuse. It's alleged that he knowingly or intentionally committed an act likely to cause serious physical or mental harm to a child by lying across the chest or abdomen of Cornelius Frederick during a restraint. That offense is a felony punishable by up to 10 years in prison. Lastly, Mr. Mosley has been charged in count three with child abuse second degree child care organization violation causing death. It's alleged in that count that he is a person, as a person did intentionally violate MCL 722.112, a section of the Child Care Organization Act, being MCL 722.11, by laying across the chest or abdomen of Cornelius Frederick during a restraint, and that violation of statute caused the death of Cornelius Frederick. That offense, again, is a felony punishable by a maximum of 10 years in prison. We have also charged in Mr. Frederick's death, Zachary Raul Solis of Lansing, Michigan. The charges against Mr. Solis are the same as those against Mr. Uh, Mosley. In count one, Mr. Solis is charged with homicide, manslaughter, involuntary for causing the death of Cornelius Frederick by uh, acting in a grossly negligent manner in his restraint. That offense is a felony punishable by a maximum of 15 years in prison. Mr. Solis is also charged in count two with second degree child abuse, a felony punishable by 10 years in prison. And in count three, Mr. Solis is charged with the child abuse second degree child care organization violation causing death, a felony punishable by a maximum of 10 years in prison. Lastly, we have charged Heather Newton McLogan of Kalamazoo, Michigan, with two offenses arising out of her actions on April 29th. It was alleged in count one that she committed the offense of homicide, manslaughter, involuntary. The language in this uh, charges against Ms. McLogan are, is slightly different uh, because of her alleged role in causing the death of Mr. Frederick. Ms. McLogan is alleged to have caused the death of Cornelius Frederick by the grossly negligent failure to negligent failure to perform the following legal duty by failing to timely seek, obtain, or follow through with medical care for Cornelius Frederick. <laughs> that offense is a felony punishable by a maximum of 15 years in prison. It's alleged in count two that Ms. McLogan McLogan committed the offense of child abuse, second degree, child care organization, violation causing death. Specifically, it's alleged that she did, being a person, intentionally violate MCL 722.112, a section of the Child Care Organization Act, being MCL 722.111, except by failing to timely assess Cornelius Frederick's condition or to seek, obtain, or follow through with medical care, and that violation causing the death of Cornelius Frederick. Again, that offense is punishable by a maximum of up to 10 years in prison. 